welcome 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 back to the channel crypto troll i am crypto troll bringing you the latest and the greatest in cryptocurrencies and today man we're giving an update on harmony one and we know the last proposal got rejected by the community and me personally if you saw my videos my previous videos on harmony one you saw i didn't like the proposal either and a lot of community members didn't like it and that's the power of cryptos and the blockchain technology they give us an opportunity to vote on what we don't like they don't just put it on us and that's one thing i like about cryptos and harmony uh, but this particular proposal was shot down but they are back with a new and better proposal in my personal opinion uh, i'm not sure if the community will like this proposal but it's way better than the last one so we're going to talk about the proposal and you know just give our overall overall general you know viewpoint from my uh viewpoint and also we're going to talk about price as well but before we get too deep into it make sure you hit that like button subscribe button and turn on those notifications i'm going to continue to bring crypto content not only crypto content but harmony one content as well because even though i might sound negative about harmony one i still hold a bag and i'm just speaking from my personal opinion so you know let me know how you feel about harmony one i'm just giving you my thoughts and you know what i believe about the project but at the end of the day i still hold a bag so don't think i'm just talking about it and trying to downplay it i'm just trying to make it aware of what you know my disagreements with what they're doing and some other people disagreements as well and i know we have a lot of harmony one maxis uh people who really believe in the project and i still believe harmony one will appreciate in the bull market as well but some of the things that they were doing as far as the proposal as far as communication it wasn't up to par um with what i think will be you know leading technology going into the future so you know that's just my standpoint on things let me know how you feel about harmony and before we get too deep into it i gotta let you know too this is not financial advice whatsoever this is just me talking about my personal journey on the crypto space just documenting what i'm doing in the crypto space how i feel about the cryptos that i invest in so please people before you go invest and waste all your money on any crypto make sure you know what you're doing you're talking to somebody you have conviction and whatever it is that you're investing in because at the end of the day you got to believe in it no matter what nobody else is saying you got to understand what this specific project is doing and how they plan on changing the world changing the future building a better blockchain building a more you know blockchain that's capable of mass adoption and that's what crypto is it's a network effect and if a lot of people hop on this network it's going to experience some major major appreciation in the future so and also check out my harmony one playlist as well i got a lot of harmony one videos i've been in harmony one since you know early 2021 probably before i think 2020 actually end of 2020 it was just being real the first altcoin that i ever invested in that was the first altcoin that i ever just truly put a bag in and that i really had an understanding of what was going on i was around when harmony one first debuted it when they first brought the daps so that's one thing uh i want to just continue to push his longevity in these projects we know cryptos pump fast they pump overnight but sometimes you got to be holding that bag for a good little minute and it's been about three uh two and a half years now so i'm still holding a, a bag of harmony one and i still believe in appreciation in it in the next bull market so enough of that let's talk about it. i'm currently on coin market cap um i'm doing something a little different today or this week rather just because i'm currently on vacation and don't have my entire setup so i'm just gonna kind of do these videos from my phone but i gotta push this content out because it is some relevant content moving forward so we can see today price is at one cents but we are up 10 percent on a day so there's always good seeing that 10 percent push and a lot of people you know say how 10 percent isn't anything that's a lot in just investments you know and not probably not in the crypto space because we know we usually to those crypto pumps but 10 percent is good if you've been you know building a 
good position at that bottom. So market cap is at $186 million, up 9%. Fully diluted is at $197 million, and that's up 10%. And volume is up 66%, coming in at $19.6 million on the past 24 hours. So love to see Harmony One pump like that. And like I said, today we're going to talk about the new proposal. So, you know, introducing the Harmony One new proposal, a groundbreaking initiative that aims to bring speed, scalability, and decentralization to the next level. This is pretty much the future of blockchain technology. I'm telling you that. So, with the Harmony One proposal, transactions will be faster than ever before. Goodbye to slow transactions man we know one second finality is coming very very soon um scalability will also be greatly enhanced with this new proposal so we will be able to scale better with this proposal and then just imagine you know now with the updates how many transactions the blockchain will handle and we saw you know with DeFi candles it was kind of having a hard time at one point uh, just because it was so many transactions the network was just congested with transactions you couldn't get a transaction through but now with this proposal they're really building out that blockchain and the scalability of it so what about decentralization well harmony one has that covered as well the new proposal will be more distributed network making it resilient and secure and then it's a lot of things that goes into into this proposal so i'm going to give you the specifics so the goals of the proposal is improve network efficiency and accelerate bridge recovery so a lot of people have been talking about how can we get our assets repegged again because we know that hack absolutely took harmony one off the map but the good thing is the project is still around and still building and that's why i say things always happen in especially in the crypto space it's a brand new asset class so things are going to happen where you know these hacks are gonna happen, um, people are gonna leave the blockchain, but if that project continues to build, I believe that's just showing how resilient that project is and they can get over these hurdles. You, If you stop, that's the only way you lose, in my personal opinion. So the changes to this new proposal is, they changed to two shards and split 25% emission for recovery. So we can see splitting 441 million token of annual emissions, 75% for staking rewards and 25% for bridge recovery, shut down shard two and three of our network. So this is way better already um, than the last proposal in my personal opinion, because they was trying to do 50%. That's just crazy. Um, especially for new people coming in, they're they're not gonna want to split all those, you know, their uh, rewards just because. I mean, they they're new to the blockchain. They didn't come around when the hack was happening. And you know, I feel like just trying to onboard in new people, you want to give them a incentive, especially since right now it's no DeFi on Harmony One whatsoever. You know, all the projects are pretty much leaving. So why not just rebuild all together, man? And you know, still have those juicy stake and rewards, but at the same time, giving some type of percentage to the bridge recovery. So the options that they give us are change from 250 nodes to 200 nodes each for shard zero and one, and change the minimum validator commission from 5% to 6% or 6.7% rather. And I think this is major as well just because I, I wouldn't mind giving, you know, the validator more rewards to give them incentives to stay on because we have been seeing a lot of validators leave the network as well. So that's just giving people more incentives to actually, you know, validate the network and help Harmony One become even more decentralized. So operations, we see recovery, multi-sig will hold tokens from the network emission and transfer them to burn to fund burn partners for DPA assets every month. Recovery multi-sig follows strictly the operations of the current burn and the recovery multi-sig continues to hold emissions or to hold tokens from emissions after recovery is completed into further snapshot proposals. Recovery multi-sig is a five out of seven harmonies safe with elected custodians so the custodians open nominations for electing a diverse and engaged set of custodians from our community any validator 
delegator holder may self-nominate or be nominated with snapshot vote. No team members or partners will participate in the election or the operation. So this is major because they're embracing decentralization. They want the people to vote for who the custodians are for this particular proposal. So the dates are 7 through um, or July 7th. I mean, not July 7th, July 13th, rather. It was posted on a forum and then the 27th is the nominations and options finalized, snapshot voting starts. And then on August the 10th, we see the two week snapshot voting ends. And they will be collecting feedback and answering questions with replies in the forum as well in the draft document. So a lot of things going on with this proposal. I love to see that they came back around and made a better proposal because at first it was looking bad, man. I'm not going to lie. It, was, it wasn't looking too good, but now I'm kind of, they're kind of restoring the faith that I had in the Harmony One and really the faith in decentralization, the faith in letting the community, you know, speak and have a voice in what's going on because at the end of the day, the community is what matters in the crypto space because Harmony One at one point in time, I probably had the best community in the crypto space, in my personal opinion, or one of the best communities in the crypto space. And I believe now they're trying, they're re-embracing what they were all about. And I think the hack, you know, of course, threw it off just because it was new and it was so much money that was, you know, taken away from the blockchain. But now they have a better and I say more concise plan that will really, you know, people will pretty much... I think better embrace this what they're doing so that's my video for today crypto tro like i said this video is different from the other ones um i'm going to be back in about a week so be prepared for you know the the usual the regular what's going on but i just had to get this content out because this was published um about you know i think it was published yesterday so i had to get it out make sure everybody knows what's going on and keep the people updated on the harmony one's new proposal so make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and also turn on those notifications and don't forget to check out my harmony one playlist i'm bringing you content on content for harmony one and what they're doing and letting you getting the updates on what's going on so i appreciate everybody for tuning in it's currently hot as crap in Orlando, and i'm sweating bullets but i'm going to continue to do this so crypto tro that's my video i'm out of here